Question six, read the extract below and answer the questions that follow. So lifestyle diseases, TB, a silent killer. So tuberculosis TB is a preventable and curable disease. Yet 1.5 million people die from TB each and every year, making it the world's top infectious killer. Big issue here in Mzanzi as well. Lifestyle factors and stigmatization play a significant role in the spreading of tuberculosis, TB, in communities. In order to manage this disease effectively, early treatment, early detection is very important. So what is stigmatization or stigmatization? It's when individuals are unfairly treated and, well, discriminated against due to conditions that are seen as undesirable in society. Okay, so we've got to write a few paragraphs now. On the prevention and control of lifestyle diseases, uh, such as the one discussed in the context uh, here of TB, use the following as a guideline. So again, follow IBC intro body conclusion. In your intro, just introduce these three factors in your body, focus on them, and in your conclusion, just tie them all together. So quick one, briefly state four lifestyle factors that may increase the risk of a person contracting tuberculosis. That's one, two, three, and four. While smoking and also vaping, okay? You you vapors, you guys who want to look cool, vaping, you know, think you're so quiet. Joking, joking. Don't feel attacked. Joking. Poon loves you. So uh, excessive, excessive alcohol intake as well. So excessive alcohol. You're having too many hunters goals there, my friend. Too many Zamaleks, too many black labels. Uh, drug use as well. And just overall following a poor diet. All of this uh, increases your susceptibility of contracting TB. Discuss in detail how early treatment of TB could help individuals who are infected to manage the disease more effectively. Well, if you detect it early and you push treatment a lot earlier, life will look a lot better because you'll have less intensive treatment procedures. So there's just less intensity. And not just that, it also becomes shorter. And you can prevent it from progressing to a more severe state prevent progression and not just that you reduce the spread of tb to others and you may have better health outcomes you can ensure a quicker recovery time you also reduce financial burden on that individual because well treatment costs a lot of money so yeah myriad of factors examine the possible impact of stigmatization on the effectiveness of treatment for tb infected individuals the possible impact of stigmatization well, individuals who feel a bit stigmatized, they may be less likely to adhere to their treatment regimen. So less likely to adhere. And I'm doing that in a very silly way. So adherence just becomes lower. The stress anxiety caused by stigma, it may lead to increased mental health issues. So your mental health will suffer as well. These arrows look shocking. I'm so sorry. Stigmatized individuals may experience further social isolation as well. No one wants to be with them. They're treated like lepers. Stigma may strain relationships with family and friends as well. So relationship strain. Leading to a just a lack of support at home. As family members might also distance themselves due to the fear of infection and other social repercussions. So yeah, nice little TB essay. Well, I mean, TB isn't nice, but yeah, that's how you're supposed to structure your essay. And don't forget to tie it all in with your, con your conclusion. And that's it. That's it for the video. Bye.